Hi, this is Danielle Zana. I'm actually doing a um a discussion on Chelsea Manning and um and the the problems that people are having in understanding her and, and seeing who she is rather than what she is. Now Chelsea Manning um brief history about her is that um, she was formerly known as Bradley Manning, who basically um, um, exposed the war crimes of um, America um, um, with the video Collateral Damage, which was uploaded to WikiLeaks um, in exposing um, um, you know, people being shot and all of that. Um, and um a uh, while back I did a video about WikiLeaks and that and um it's still in my Dropbox um, fortunately. Now there is a big problem with people understanding her and um and I've been having a bit of a an issue um about it. Um I'm just gonna go to um put the file just like that in there and uh in there. Well, I'll get to that bit later. Now um it's it brought to my attention a while ago um with her Wikipedia page. Um I see the the, the photograph. And um now this is the video that she released. And it would cause quite some of controversy. Um, see, the thing is, um, I've managed with a few people, um, had, because I had the, the Wikipedia page as Bradley Manning, and I actually fought this, and basically I've run with people who have supported the, um, the idea. Um, that the page should be Chelsea Manning, which is straight away because um, of understanding um, gender orientation and transsexuality. Now, a while, uh, uh, quite recently, um, on um, Human Art, um, this person did artwork and um, saying that um, you know. 2014, it's going to be another shit year, and, uh, and um, you know, they haven't, you know, three Chelsea Manning, and um, Edward Snowden is, um, you know, you know, not really 100% free, and then um, Julian Sand is in some sort of limbo, and, um, and then I kind of responded, I had, are people still calling Chelsea Bradley Manning? And um, then the person said, um, I recognize that Manning's name change and desire for the woman. I try not to refer the name change and sex change desire. Actually, the, the, the correct term is not really sex change, but it's a um, gender reassignment surgery. Um, some people even get that wrong and call it um, gender realignment surgery. And this is from a gender specialist at some point. Um, she calls it gender realignment surgery. Uh, it's actually the correct term is gender reassignment surgery. Because I, in my artwork, it's important for any release. Since only gives away the biggest nozzle to go with demon. I find that referring to her as Chelsea in this juncture does more harm I guess than help it. And for that reason this person prefers her to be as Bradley in their artwork. And then I kind of responded, Well the truth is it's not her desire or want to be woman, but it's who she really is inside and has come out in the open about it. There is very much large misunderstanding towards transsexual people. 
where the emphasis is based on assuming what they want change rather than that they need to match their bodies and their minds to feel complete balanced human beings. This is known as gender orientation. It is not a disease or a dysfunction as the old school approach claims it to be, but the fact that the body should have developed according to the brain development, with the secretions to the, the child, actually, supposedly hormone secretions to the child, nearly by the mother. I myself have my own gender dilemma and can empathize with Chelsea and understand her more than any more than someone who struggles to understand her. Mine is similar to Chelsea's, but much rarer, where it had both male and female parts known as intersex, and the female parts were forcibly removed in an operation and forced to be raised as a male by a religious decision of my parents and the doctor. It was kept from me, kept secret from me for 29 years, but experienced the same exact same thoughts and emotions Chelsea was going through, and in fact she is stronger than me emotionally, uh, because if I were her today, I would not be alive when I think about it. Her tra trauma in prison only dwarfs the trauma I experienced while growing up and existing now, and I would not handle it, and attempted to end my life a lot of times, and only ended up surviving the injuries, uh, surviving with injuries that affect my present day life. I support her for who she is, not what she is, and the fact to put in the in activism to fix her name and gender in the Wikipedia article, which you can see has been successful. Oh so that is mission accomplished. And um, in, the, uh, in the Wikipedia article, I am glad that they have finally fixed it. Refusing to accept who she is can be seen as passive discrimination, such as the same thing when my parents claim they love me completely, when in fact they only love me 50%, and the other 50% are hated, and they want it dead, because they consider me as an embarrassment to their church and town, and they kept me locked up, and tried to hide me as much as possible. They felt ashamed when I went to town with them. I I see it as the same thing. You support her efforts in making the planet a better place, but you don't support her as a human being because she is different to what is considered normal. The only solution to end bigotry and assholes is information, knowledge, education, and awareness. There's not everyone, and that not everyone is the same. I feel that referring to her as Bradley projects an image that you don't understand from sexual people and probably think they are subhuman and indirectly and unconsciously supporting the bigots and arseholes. And not only that, indirectly bearing the rights of transsexual human beings as a whole, contributing towards the fascism, segregation and discrimination towards them who on a daily basis have to cope fight and battle with bigoted numpties and religious extre extremists on the streets such as Muslim patrols and street street preachers and more. Then again, it's your artwork and people should be free to do what they want with their art. But your outlook on the issue makes me upset and reminds me sh of struggles of people that consider themselves normal normal to be friends with someone who is of a different sexual orientation, gender orientation, ethnic orientation, nationality and so on. Now I am considering myself to unsubscribe you from your page since I look at it, uh, since I look at that if one cannot accept Chelsea who she is, they would not likely accept me as well. And also would not like, and I also would not get myself upset about it. 
that was my response and I actually did a bit more browsing and um, I came upon this page from the Mad Magazine and um, from the Mad Magazine and I was quite shocked to see this um, I used to when I was a child I used to you know read Mad Magazine so pretty funny and everything but this is kind of like showing me that Mad Magazine um, it's not funny this uh, they you know, say it's satire but it's not funny it's kind of like worse than the article that they posted me on um, Encyclopedia Dramatica and um, it's 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 like like I'm like what the fuck um, um, they call her a traitor and uh, they kind of make out her as a man in a dress and um, and um, Chelsea doesn't look like that as you can see in her photo over here she doesn't look like that and then it's just basically taking the piss out of um, um, transgender people sorry, the transsexual people transgender is basically they don't even know what transgender is actually um, transgender is basically um, um, an umbrella term that encapsulates transsexuals um, transvestites cross-dressers and then gender queers um, it's sort of like an umbrella um, term um, transsexuals are people that, that um, is what Chelsea maybe is and um, you know, when you look at it um, even even the comments um, no one actually thinks the article is funny and um, and you can see it's very political um, you get Obama has a lot to do with it or, or, or government politics has a lot to do with it and um, and this is this is I was quite I was quite um, upset um, um, when seeing this because um, it just gives provides more misunderstanding towards transsexual people and it's just blatantly ignorant and stupid and retarded absolutely retarded I know it's something you might say it's an offensive term but I'm saying that this is genuinely offensive um, it's, it's absolutely backward and um, and so um, yeah I'm just I'm astonished that this is like it's 2014 and people have gone backward the Mad Magazine used to be quite witty, funny and intelligent now it's just, just stupid, dumb and fucked up completely screwed up um, apparently it seems to be that the Mad Magazine is taken over by new people and all that, that's why it's gone all stupid and you know crap um, it's basically this is like you know, I'm I'm not gonna actually buy a Mad Magazine anymore. Whenever I used to get by them when I was a kid, but um, I, I used to always think about it. You know, um, now it's absolutely crap. You know, who wanna who wanna wanna buy and support this crap? Um, you know, it's basically well, as well money disease. You know. As I mentioned before, not to support money disease. You know, um, you know it's <clears throat> it's totally crap. And what I'm also going to say is, um, as you know, you know, I'm part of the I support the Raelian movement and all that, and they've got a list of honorary guides, and I've sent in a, a request to Facebook and all that. And no one seems to be listening or trying to hear what I say about Chelsea Manning. 
and um, it still hasn't as Bradley on the page. It hasn't been updated. And when was this page last updated? You know, what is it to update the page? It doesn't take much time. It's just, a, just, a, it's just one name, and then a, and the pronouns she, you know, and her that needs to be changed. Um, never mind this one. I, I, I totally disagree with. He's basically a bit of a pain in the backside. And the amount of discrimination towards LGBT in South Africa is alarming, and um, he shouldn't be on this page. Well, the truth, the truth be said, um, he's basically scratched out. Um, well, so yeah, I was gonna say it, but so that was a success. And I'm glad that um, me and people, other people who actually worked hard to actually keep Chelsea Manning updated on the Wikipedia page, that's been a complete success. Um, however, you got these numpties like this, um, you know, um, you know, Mad Magazine is absolutely rubbish now. So that's what I'm going to say, you know, um, uh, as soon as it comes to um, gender, um, and people tend to ignore it or shun it, and um, you know how is humanity going to evolve in consciousness if they still do this sort of thing? You know, even even in places of high consciousness, um, such as the Rally Movement, and uh, that's all I've got to say at the moment. It's Chelsea, it's Chelsea Manning. And um, and then well, from what I've experienced, more that and yeah, I've been through a lot. And I think only people like myself and myself and others like her can understand, you know, fully. Because other people just tend to just, you know, don't give a shit. They don't give a flying fuck. They don't even care. Um. That's all I'm gonna say at the moment. Yeah,